Okay, me and Evan are going to take Big Red and the sled down to fish camp. From fish camp, we're going to head to Tigard, Oregon, and we are going to drop the sled off at Stevens Marine for a new Tarova trolling motor and some new electronics. Pretty excited about all that. What I'm not excited about is all the snow and the trip over Meacham. It's going to be interesting. So I'm taking the GoPro and I'm going to share as we head that way. And obviously we have the drone, so we will be taking some, some footage with it along the way. All right, headed out of Union. With boat in tow, I-84 to Pendleton. This should be an interesting trip. Okay, here we go. Gonna turn on to the I-84. We'll be westbound to Pendleton, um, up through Meacham. This should be fun. Put your seatbelt on because here we go. We are going up through the pass, through Meacham, over the mountain, down to Pendleton, Oregon. Man, it's craziness. down and five hours and no nope, four hours and seven minutes left to go accident ahead on i-84w in three miles you're still on the fastest route accident ahead That's new. hey left to go four hours seven minutes and we have till six o'clock to get to Stevens Marine can we do it all right here we go looks like we're out of the traffic jam man what an exciting trip through the Meacham Pass look at that we got logs log trucks what do we got here we got crane Farm, farm equipment. Look at there, farm equipment. And now we got maybe snowmobiles. Heck no, this is white knuckle stuff here, man. Look at that, snow zone. Chains required. We've got chains on this truck. All right, Immigrant Spring State Park. I think I'll pass this trip. What do you think, Bo? Spend the night at Immigrant Springs. Okay, Bo, made it to the 82. This guy just seems to.
river looking like this very often. Mumbo? Okay, we are going to exit the 84, take a trip through Arlington, Oregon. Arlington is about 40 miles north of Condon, where we used to live. And I used to bring the boys up here to fish, swim. Um, it's got a great park, if you've never been there. Um, has a sandy beach, has a swim platform, a fountain. It's pretty neat to visit in the summertime but you would never know this time of year. park is also a good rest stop if you need to stop and use the restrooms. They got facilities to the right there and also there's a shell station up on the left and you can get gas, coffee, snacks and then you have an easy access to get back onto the freeway. You just come up here, hang a right and I'll put you back on the 84 westbound. Yeah. How's Arlington? Okay, leaving Arlington and headed towards Rufus along the Columbia River. I hit my windshield wipers and ended up smearing mud all over my windshield, so I had to pull over to let Evan clean off the windshield. Okay, Bobo cleaned the window. Okay, we're going to be driving down the scenic Columbia River um, between Arlington, Oregon and Rufus, Oregon. Um, this is my favorite part of the drive because we get to be right alongside the Columbia. Okay, we're coming up on the John Day River. Um, at this exit across the bridge here, you can take um, the exit to LePage Park, and there is a launch ramp, and you do have access to the Columbia. And you have, an, oh, I think about seven miles up the John Day till you get to the Narrows that you can access from here as well. Unfortunately, the roads were bad and we had some delays with traffic and we were unable to make it to Portland in time and they ended up closing Stevens Marine. So here we go. We took the exit to Rufus and we are going to stay the night at fish camp. We're going to take a left here and head up to fish camp, but you can um, take a right and it will take you down to the Rufus launch ramp. So um, fish camp is, I mean, we're five minutes from the launch ramp in Rufus.
once we get the trailer opened up and get unpacked and kind of settled in, I'll go ahead and launch the drone and we can see what Rufus looks like in February. Just up here on the right, you have Bob's Texas T-Bone. It's a great place to stop and eat. And right up here to the left, you have the largest, smallest tackle store in Oregon. Columbia Gorge Outfitter Supply. Okay, I must admit that was one of my toughest trips to fish camp pulling the boat. I um, think I'm going to wait for a little better weather next time before I try this one again. Okay, I'm going to get parked here and get unpacked and launch the drone. Okay, this is what fish camp looks like in February. I bet Grandma and Grandpa are glad they are in Arizona right now, down at Quartzsite. At least in another month or so from now, this will be, all be green and it will be looking um, much nicer than Quartzsite, Arizona. Anyway, this is what Rufus, Oregon looks like in February. I wouldn't say every February, but it sure does this February. Well, I ran over to take a look at the Deschutes and anyway decided to launch the drone so we can see what it looks like in February. I'm really impressed with this Mavic Mini 2 drone. You can see the clarity, um, even with it, the weather the way it is, you can see the if you look down at the water, you can see where it's shallow, you can see where the sandbars come out and where the deepens up. It has very good, very good video quality. Here we're testing the drone's uh, capabilities. Evan's flying it from inside of the truck and it seems to be doing just fine. All right, this is the Deschutes State Park launch ramp. It has been plowed and graded, so if anyone wants to come out and uh, run up the Deschutes, looks like they would have that opportunity. And I would think it would be a good idea to have four-wheel drive as if you, uh, went down that launch ramp, I think you might have a hard time getting back up without it. Now 
Now this is the way to run the Deschutes in February from inside of the truck and flying over and being able to check out all the cool stuff out here like the, the geese that are over here next to the island. I am really impressed with the clarity of the camera on this drone. You can see see the bottom of the river pretty pretty easily and even when you're speeding up with the drone it's got really good clarity. All right, we got a little altitude, but you can see um, both sides of the Deschutes. Um, normally this area is completely green down there, even on the islands. So um, anyway, yeah, you don't see, see the Deschutes and the Columbia looking like this very often. But anyway, it's kind of kind of cool to check out from from the air. Okay, now we're looking towards Rufus on the Columbia, and we're going to pan around. That's Miller Island, and that's looking oh, westbound um, down the 84 towards the Dalles, Oregon. And we are going to take a trip over there and take a look at, at the Dalles Dam and, and see what it looks like um, over there. Okay, we're headed to the Dalles, but we will stop up here and take a look at Celilo Park. All right, we arrived at Celilo State Park, and this is another park that's in the summertime. Spring, summer, fall is really, really green. It's a beautiful place to be. But as you can see today, it is white and cold and not green. And this is what happens when you let Evan drive. You get dizzy going in circles. Darn kids, they like playing in the snow. Okay, we're going to head over to the launch ramp and we will take a look at the water and the ramp and see what it looks like over here. good friend of mine was launching out of here um, last fall salmon season. He was leaving early in the morning um, before daylight. Anyway, there was a gill net strung out across one of these points as he was leaving and he ended up taking out and just, just veered out, you know, as he got out into the Columbia to the right a little bit and that net was, he couldn't see the net. Anyway, it ended up getting tangled up in his boat um, and his main motor um, Mercury 350 is, you know, the boat, boat's only a couple years old and anyway, ended up, uh, you know, making a, a real mess of his prop and motor. He ended up having to pull it out and, you know, check it all out, make sure it didn't break the seal and get any wa water into his, his lower unit. So, um, you want to be careful when you're, uh, launching out of here. Evan decided to head back out into the Columbia and check out some of the wildlife. He went over the oh the jetty there and was checking out the Columbia and found a bunch of coots out here. Anyway, they they didn't seem to mind that he was flying over them and checking them out. But anyway, he ended up uh, headed back to the launch ramp. And then our plan is to head over to the Dalles and check out um, the Dalles Dam and anyway, get some uh, drone video over there. And so we'll uh, 
we'll land this thing and go check it out. Okay, here we are, the Dalles, Oregon. We are gonna check out the dam and the Columbia and um, just go around and take a look. Okay, check out the current in the Columbia River. It can be um, uh, it can be dangerous in the summertime, let alone wintertime, but yeah, it only take one slip to fall in that river and it is ice cold. Um, the current will take you away. I think the average current's around eight miles per hour. Anyway, and definitely in the winter time, it would be deadly. So I don't think you would last more than oh five to ten minutes in that water before um, before you didn't make it. This is just too cool. You could not see this without having the drone. It's pretty amazing um, how technology has changed, how we can, uh, how we get to see things. Um, it's pretty amazing. I, I think it's absolutely awesome. All right, well, we're going to run into town, grab some groceries, and then we're going to head back to Rufus. I am going to stop over um, oh, and Biggs. We'll go ahead and um, launch the drone there and get some, get some video of the Columbia right there by the bridge, and then we're going to probably call it a day. Okay, we're going to land this thing and get on out of here. Okay, we did run into the Dalles. We stopped at Bymart, Safeway, um, picked up some groceries. We got some, uh, what did we get? Orange chicken, uh, frozen dinners for dinner tonight. So anyway, anyway, we headed back and I, like I said, we're stopping here at Biggs and wanted to get, launch the drone and get a little bit of video, of the bridge and the Columbia River here. And so anyway, let's check it out. This is by far my favorite spot on the Columbia River. I believe it's because this is about where I started from. When I moved out from Palm Springs, California in 2005, I moved to Condon, Oregon. Anyway, um, never never fished the Columbia before in my life. And anyway, I, got, I came over here right to this spot, um, right over by the grain towers. Um, there's a launch ramp right there, and anyway, I park there and I just throw out a worm and we catch everything from bass to carp to sturgeon, um, catfish, just all kinds of fish. Anyway, that's where I kind of fell in love with the Columbia River. Okay, well, we are going to head back to fish camp and eat our orange chicken and then um, anyway, I'll be headed to Stevens Marine, hopefully uh, 
you know, soon. Hopefully the roads will open and we can get there, but yep, need to take the sled in and, and get her worked on so we can get out on this river. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully I will see you on the river soon.